Few books in spiritual literature compare to Paramahansa Yogananda's Autobiography of a Yogi. It is one of those rare works that in a single reading can transform the reader's entire outlook on life. Since its initial printing in 1946, Yogananda's autobiography has continued to enthrall seekers with its fascinating tales of miracles, saints, and astral heavens, even if skeptical readers may take pause. In Yogananda's quest for God, he met several remarkable holy men, including the saint with two bodies, who reputedly had the ability to bilocate physically. Ganda Baba, the renowned perfume saint, a master at manifesting at will a variety of scents or even flowers, Nagendra Nath, the levitating saint, whom both Yogananda and his brother saw floating in the air while engaged in meditations, and Mahendra Nath Gupta, the blissful devotee of the famous Sri Ramakrishna. None of these saints, however, served as Yogananda's spiritual guru. That was reserved for Sri Yukaswar, who Yogananda first met in Banaras, but whose ashram was in Puri. Under the tutelage of Sri Yukaswar, Yogananda became a master of Kriya Yoga, which is a psychophysiological method to revitalize the life current within man and to quicken his inner progress. Sri Yukaswar explained to his students that the ancient yogis had discovered a secret of cosmic consciousness that is intimately connected to breath mastery. This is India's unique and deathless contribution to the world treasury of knowledge, he explained. The life force, which is ordinarily absorbed in maintaining heart action, must be freed for higher activities by a method of calming and stilling the ceaseless demands of the breath. By mastering the breath through Kriya Yoga, Yogananda was able to open the third eye center and leave his physical body at will. When a yogi is absorbed in lower samadhi, he appears lifeless, seemingly dead, with no signs of bodily movement. This occurs because the life current, or soul, is drawn from the body to be active on a different and higher plane of existence. In higher samadhi, though, the yogi can commune with a higher reality without this appearance of lifelessness. Yogananda, it appears, was adept in both types of samadhi. Perhaps the most interesting, if controversial, story surrounding Yogananda's life concerns the alleged existence of the avatar Babaji, who supposedly has retained his physical form for centuries. This deathless avatar, as Yogananda refers to him, is responsible for keeping alive the pristine teachings for millennia. According to the autobiography of the yogi, Babaji is on the same spiritual level as Christ, Buddha, and Krishna. There's one catch, however. Babaji can only be seen when he ordains it. That is, Babaji may have a physical form, but it can only be seen when the avatar desires it to be so. Hence, any encounter with Babaji is taken as a highly auspicious occasion. Yogananda himself writes of his meeting with Babaji as the most sacred of my human experiences. After receiving Babaji and Sri Yukaswar's blessings, Yogananda departed for America in 1920 to spread the teachings of Kriya Yoga. He was well received and soon became something of a religious celebrity, attracting substantial crowds to his public lectures. In 1935, Yogananda codified his system as a Self-Realization Fellowship, which was chartered under the laws of California as a non-sectarian and non-profit corporation. Yogananda also founded two remarkable church centers in California, the SRF Lake Shrine and Pacific Palisades and the Encinitas Colony overlooking the Pacific Ocean near San Diego. Both places still exist today, which are wonderful reminders of Yogananda's love for natural beauty. Paramahansa Yogananda died on March 7, 1952, minutes after giving a speech at the Biltmore Hotel in Los Angeles. Apparently, Yogananda knew in advance of his forthcoming death, having given several hints to his disciples. To one devotee, he said, My life work is done. And to another, after the death of Sister Gyan Mata, his most advanced woman initiate, he remarked, Now that Sister is gone, there is nothing that holds me here. Nevertheless, it came as a surprise to his large following when news spread that their beloved Guru had died. He was 59 years old. The great yogi of America expected to defy death by transcending it. To his many disciples, Paramahansa Yogananda awoke in a new world, one which his Guru had predicted would find them together. You and I shall smile together. Finally, we shall merge as one in the Cosmic Beloved. Our smiles shall be his smile.